Hey folks, this is IOE throwing back with some more World of Tanks. As you can see, this is Ralphie. He is in the EBR Hotch. Um, though it feels more like a toy, right? I'm I'm not crazy, right? Yeah, okay. Uh, this is a nice little tank, and uh, I still haven't got mine. I do really want it. We're going to bump that minimap up so everybody can, in fact, actually see it. And we're gonna get on into this game. So, <clears throat> interior game on airfield. Um, one of my favorite maps to play on, actually, especially if you're in a decent scout tank, as he obviously is. You can get some decent lights in on this map, and uh, still stay in pos positions of relative um, okay aggression Oops. without getting yourself killed. So, you know. All the good things are scattered without any of the really horrible stuff. This is one of my, my favorite locations. Because you'll get this, uh, the heavies trying to cross, but it looks like he's trying to back up to the bush. I'm guessing he wants to be parked with his turret aimed in the best possible spot where he can get away if he needs to. Um, it's a really actually advanced tactic. Um, it, it takes a lot of skill to drive backwards. Uh, I'm not 100% sure he's going to get a shot right now. That T32 would have been a great shot to take as it passed the opening. However, it's it's gone now, so it's not going to reverse back. Or... Is it going to... Oh, wow, hi. Oh, he was aiming for the real driver wheel. He didn't get it. He did get lit, though. So he's got to keep his head down for a little while because uh, enemies can definitely shoot him when he's up on that hump. Um, he can get shot from the base when he's up here. So he has to make sure he's invisible again before he slides back into this position. Oh, I guess spotted almost immediately. Trying to use HE. Oh, he's spotted, of course, by the mutts right there. Mutz is going to be an issue. We're going to have to take him out. Still got HE loaded now. Switching over to gold loaded. As it is, in fact, a tier 8 tank. And uh, he's in a tier 7. So he wants to not get shot by that as much as possible. Um, it's going to take him a couple more hits into the Mutz in order to kill it, though. Whereas the Mutz hasn't actually hit us yet. So we, we're okay. Everything's fine. I don't know what the Mutz was actually shooting at, to be honest, but uh, it wasn't really shooting at us. Okay. I thought for a second the Mutz may have been stuck, but I don't think so. I think he's just got himself into an interesting position, and we shot straight through his gun mantle with some gold in order to kill him. Nice little maneuver there. Uh, I love the way this tank bobs and dips. We really, really need to get one, but... I don't have one, so I'm just gonna go ahead and enjoy Ralphie playing his. E25 is streaking up on the side. Looks like they're gonna try and surround and take out our Brigetto. He does get the T71, and the E25 looks like it's actually retreating. Gonna get a shot on T32 here, timing it correctly. Unfortunately, it hits the dirt instead, so we'll have to take the. <laughs> The uh, second prize as of the T-34 is going to be able to roll and to get a shot at the a AC-4. Yeah, that's what I would have shot at. There's a rock right there. You're not going to be able to hit him there until... Well, until he walks out into the open right there. Um, one more hit. Right about there. Nope. And my second light has extinguished itself. So, unfortunately, the rest of this video is going to be, uh, going to be a little bit in the dark. And I'm sorry for that. Uh, pushing up the ridge line, looking for shots. He's not going to get any though. Um, the T32 might present a profile in a little bit. Looks like he intends to make a run on the Scorpion G. Uh, that's the T32 in our base right now. We should be getting. I mean, he's got to be careful. That Scorpion can one shot you. So, you know, don't get shot. There you go. Good job. Scorpion is dead. T32 is still stomping around near the base, and uh, the Nashorn and the Scorpion that are over there 
probably aren't going to be doing much about it, so Ralphie's got to get back there, take it out, preferably without getting killed. Now we know the T32 is not looking at us, just pop around this corner. Miss, unfortunately, and the T32 is going to stop and start looking this way, which is not particularly good. We might actually be driving this way. Uh, maybe reorient. No, E25 is dead. Looks like going after T32 again. Can't go after him the same way as he expects, though, because that's a great, just, just an epic way to get killed. Um, we can take a couple of shells from the T32 without dying, though, so there's that. Um, at least one, actually. Oh, yet again, missing while shooting on the move. Oh, that one didn't. And one more, come on. Sink the last one home. Oh yeah, look at that. Goes ahead and stops right in cover, aims and pulls the trigger. Good job, nice. Staying in and around these rocks. Make sure, making sure artillery doesn't have a convenient target because that would be annoying. Died artillery after all that beautiful little zipping and, and dodging and, and well, it was well played. Um, Oh, that's a VK. Huh. <laughs> this doesn't exist anymore. It ain't worth me saying. Uh, there is a 234A5 uh, that was in the middle of the map and at this point in time could be anywhere. Uh, there's this also the M12 that at this point in time can be anywhere. Uh, so we just need to speed it up a little bit because, well, it might take a while otherwise. Oh, there's the M12. M12 is not... Uh, no, he is paying attention. Unfortunately. Don't really have... Oh, nice shot on the move. He's reloading some HE. And now the M12 is a mess. We can just go ahead and take this shell. Sweet time aiming the shell. I should hope he's loading. Uh, he's loading some gold. I mean, he's not top tier. He's mid tier in this game. Um... The, the T-34A5 is only tier 6 though, so maybe he doesn't need the gold. I'm guaranteeing he doesn't need the gold in this situation. However, don't forget, I mean, he's done 200 dam or 2,000 damage almost. He's got 6 kills. I mean, this has been an epic game. He doesn't want to die at the end of this. So I get loading the gold. Going in for the kill where the T-34 has always been. And being careful about it, which is good. I'm glad he's being careful of that. However, there's no T-34 here. So. Most likely the T-34 pushed across the ridge and is headed for our base. Got turned around when we started capping his. And I think we just did a ring around the rosy where he is chasing us without knowing it. And we were chasing him without knowing it. And um, by the time we get back, this game will be settled one way or the other. Yep, that is game. T-34 did not emerge from the bushes. Maybe he just went to ground and stayed there. I don't know. It doesn't really matter. Well done, Ruffy. This was a great game. Thanks for saying in. Ace, or, um, sorry, first class mastery badge. Been seeing one of those, actually. Duelist, fire for effect, Oryx metal and Top Gun. Oryx is actually um, something we don't see a lot of, but he did manage to kill both the Rambatol and the Pan the Mutts. Um, and actually, also the T32. So he deserves some props. Well done, sir. Uh, again, well played. 2100 damage. Top on his team. Top in the game, I'm pretty sure. Yep. I mean, not by much, but, I mean, considering the fact that he has to fire a lot more times than, the, <laughs> than that Scorpion does to get the same damage, it's, um, it's interesting, and I like it. Well done, sir. Thank you so much for saying this in. This was a joy to watch. I can't see the, can't wait to, to do the next toy video. I mean, <laughs> yes, uh, I still think of them as toys. I, I love them, but they're just toys. Um, so thank you for watching. Please do hit the like button if you've enjoyed this and all that rigmarole. I will see you all there as I always throughout. out.